a guaranteed follow-up. This is broken on so many levels. All right, level the explanation on Claudio. Why is he number one? Character that's already insanely strong in Tekken 7. You basically play him with while running two, which is here a heat engager, does a million damage. As you can see, is super plus on block. Uh, uh, so very powerful Superman punch. And you do back one, which is a perfect attack and seems to remain the same in Tekken 8. So not homing knockdown mid, that's minus five on block and has a built-in back step after he does it. This move is literally perfect. And obviously wall splats. So kinda perfect high. Kinda perfect mid. And then sidestep four. Which is an amazing low. And still knocks down for guaranteed follow-up. Right? And the guy has the best hop kick. Easily. It has a ton of reach. It's just uh, one of the best panic moves in the game and just a fantastic punish. So incredibly strong only with free attacks. So what's the difference between Tekken 7 Claudio and Tekken 8 Claudio? Well, there's a system change with Tekken 8 where while running attacks are super easy to do. In Tekken 7 you have to input it very quickly. Forward, forward, forward. In this game, you can do it very slowly. So his Superman punch now, every single Claudio will be able to do it point blank on you. Even the Claudios who've only been playing for two days. This is something you would see elite Tekken players do. Like JDCR with Dragunov or Shadow with Claudio, but now it takes no skill anymore. Uh, dumping down of technical skill and strategic skill is something we will see quite a bit of in Tekken 8. It's not as ridiculous as a lot of people think, but this is a very substantial change. And of course, you know, with, uh, with King, Instant Shining Wizard, super easy. But uh, with King, they actually get rewarded, the legacy players. They get five more damage when they do it very quickly, old school style. It turns into a blue spark shining wizard, which I find to be a really cool thing. Um, but so, okay, that's big for Claudio. And now we're gonna get into like the nitty gritty of uh, how his properties have changed. Claudio's down for the one in this game uh, is plus 10 on hit. And uh, it puts them in a state where they cannot guard. This makes 1-2 guaranteed. A guaranteed follow-up. This is broken on so many levels. So you have a fast 15 frame long range mid check. Like this. Very long reach. And if it connects. You'll take the 1-2. So it doesn't work as you can see from, from tip. It's not going to work. But if you're in their face, you take your 1-2, and now you're plus 5, 27 damage. Or you just go, oh, you know what, I'll take the plus 10, and just apply a mix-up, right? Because you're plus 10. There's not a whole lot they can do here, right, to try and interrupt me. Plus 10. It's just take the mix-up, right? So this is insanely busted, and I, I do believe it's, uh, it's going to get changed. Uh, other absolutely ridiculous things are his heat. He has uh, the best heat in the game. He goes from an oppressive character to an unbelievably oppressive character. I don't believe Combo Trial allows me to show you heat stuff. So I think we're gonna exit back here, and I'm going to have to dodge uh, matchups. But when I go into heat, uh, I have access to not only my normal Superman, but I have super duper Superman, where he does a 360. And you can just note for damage on this. If this counter hits, Paul's death fist doesn't do that much damage anymore. Uh, and this is also super plus. And it, okay, this is where you really have to look 
and have sharp eyes. Fight jet uh, fighter pilot eyesight. Look at June's health bar when she blocks this. Did you see that? That's on block. So again, on hit. On hit. On block. On block, it does half a damage. On block, it does around 25 damage. That's right. We have a super plus Superman that does a million damage. And should you block it, uh, still does like 25. So, and what will he mix that up with in heat? Well, suddenly you have a huge low. Suddenly he has a health sweep. Doesn't really need it. But he has it. Reparazione. And uh, he does have a DP. A very fancy, fancy, schmancy DP. Unsafe. When he's in heat, this is a safe mid launcher. So, super duper broken death fist. Safe DP launcher. That's a two hit combo, right? And he has a hell sweep. And he has a broken uh, projectile that is 100% going to get nerfed. This one. This is a special mid that does a lot of damage on block. I think I can get June to block this. You see, it chips. And apparently it's homing, so you can't sidewalk this. It will connect on block, and he'll chip you down. He'll chip you down. You can't step this. Another dumb thing is his 444 mid. It still seems to be safe. Right? Safe mid. Doesn't used to knock down, doesn't knock down anymore. It gives frames. Right? But safe. If this counter hits, he gets 53 damage. If he counter hits you with this when he's in heat. Right, that's from a safe mid counter hit. So that, that's why he's seen as number one. He's already unbelievably strong in Tekken 7 with this stuff, right? But with all of that heat bullshit, plus 10 down for the one. Ford Ford 4 counter hit into 1 million damage. Anyone can Superman now, that while running is so easy. And there you have why, why Claudio is seen as number one right now. So, unbelievably strong. Granted, everyone is kind of busted right now, but this guy still... Still stands out like a sore thumb. All oh, right, down, down one, two in heat on block. Yeah. Big frames, big frames. Oh, it loops into itself. Huge lightning strike right outside my window. I pooped myself. Christos in the heaven is angry at me. I'm saying his boy is top tier. Claudio, the exorcist of the Christos. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Oh, now it's uh, sunlight outside. The sun came by. He's, he's low tier. Oh, a rainbow. 